Hi everyone, welcome to or back to my channel where I will crochet it forward in this video video by sharing my moccasin pattern. It's a baby moccasin pattern that I came up with. Um, the first moccasin I'm going to show you is the small booty. I guess this would be more appropriate for like a slipper or footy. Um, but I will review um, this pattern and then I will also show you how to make the moccasin boot or booty which I feel is more appropriate um, on the second part of this video and I do want to sh tell you that uh, you can also be versatile with this and do these rounds in different colors now I did four rounds here um, because each round each loopy round consists of two rounds be because you have to have a single crochet row uh, before it so without further ado let's get started so the yarn I'm using is from Ice Yarns, and their website is www.iceyarns.com. Um, they came in a package of six. This is the item number if you would like to order it. Sale Winter Cafe Latte F13 47313 is what the barcode says, but unfortunately for every skein they put this sticker on the recommended hook size and the weight of the yarn and even to make things more unfortunate see here I have three left and it's the same thing I went to their website to look up my recent orders so I could get that information and it's down for maintenance so go figure but anyway, you'll just need a small amount of these I'm using a double strand because this is a small or a very thin yarn. I believe it might even be a two. Okay, and you'll need your F 3.75 millimeter crochet hook. I'm not sure if you can see that. You'll need some scissors, a crochet hook, and a stitch marker if that's going to be helpful. So once you get your two strands together, you'll want to leave about six inches for sewing up our heel which we will do later and then you just make a slip knot and um, we're going to chain 16 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 plus 1. Now I'm using this measurement because um, just from the measurement from my granddaughter and she when I made these she was four weeks old um, so go ahead and do that and now what we're going to do is single crochet in the second chain from your hook so these sideway V's are what we're going to work into make sure you're grabbing two strands we're going to insert our hook into the stitch pull up our loop pull up our loop yarn over and pull through all four or the two so that's one two three four and you go ahead and do that all the way to your beginning chain so I just finished my 16th single crochet and this is how we're going to do each round we're going to pull up our our stitch our loop and then go in from the side turn your work and on our ends only your first stitch and your last stitch we're going to go through both loops and make a single crochet you'll want to make them loose because you have to go back into them for the next row and the stitches in between are going to be worked in the back loop only and that is let me put this a little closer right here that is the back loop this is the front loop we're going to go ahead so this is our second one two three four five and I'm going to continue in that back loop you see that sideway V we're only going into this let me see if I can get my we're only going into this back loop 
that is your front loop that is your back loop so go ahead and work a single crochet all the way until you get to your next to the last stitch and I will meet you back all right so I'm at my last stitch and again we're gonna go through both loops we don't want to go through the back loop only on your first and last stitch because we want these sides to be sturdy so we're gonna repeat by pulling up our loop inserting our hook from the side Turn in our work and leaving that still a little loose and go through both loops in that same stitch. And then go right back into the back loop only and make the rest of your stitches. So that's our first one, 2 through 15, and then the 16th will be both loops. Again, here we are at our last stitch and we're going to go through both loops. Okay, so these that's the row repeat. You want to do this for a total of let's see two well we're gonna start right here two four six eight ten twelve fourteen sixteen and then you want to end right here you want to end like you'll want your starting tail to be at your bottom left and then your tail ending tail which you want to be about 12 to 14 inches at your top right. Make two pieces. Once you've threaded your long strand, you want to flip it down so that your tail is down at your lower right hand side. And now all we're going to do is just go in and out the top stitches. Okay. And the stitch count is going to vary just because of the different yarn that everybody's going to be using. But you're just going to weave in and out. And then what you want to do is just go ahead and bunch up. Pull the yarn and you'll see that the tip of it bunches up like that. Okay, so that's going to be our toe of our moccasin here. So we want to make sure that's tight. We're going to come back. So now what we want to do is match up our stitches right up here at the top. Okay. First thing we want to do is secure the side that we just finished by just making like a knot. Okay. And then we're just going to go and weave in and out. The sides matching up these two stitches okay and you'll want to go until you have two four six one two three four five six seven eight until you have eight stitches left because we're going to use those eight for the opening of the shoe so what I like to do is when I'm in my last stitch is secure it with the knot. And then all I'm going to do is go back down here, turn my work, and then just continue to make stitches all the way down. And this is just ensuring that there's no unnecessary gaps or holes in our moccasins. And then I'm just again securing the toe. Just like that. And then I'll make another. And you can just go ahead and lose the yarn working it through stitches. The next thing you want to do is go ahead and, yarn, and thread your short tail and we're going to sew in our heel. So this is what we just finished. We've got the opening for our foot and now we're going to go down and just sew up this area right here. 
Now we're going to turn the booties inside out. So this way I'm not worried about the too much on the stitches, but you do want to go at the, you want to be sewing at the tip top of your stitches, of your rows. And it's usually six inches, six to eight inches, usually enough to come back again. Now I like to leave these end stitches unworked, so make sure those top stitches are not worked because we're going to go ahead and uh, work those into our fringe. So again we're going to make a knot and then go back down just working in the thread that we have left, securing it well. And then making a knot in our last stitch. Whoops. Now we just want to flip it inside out. I start with the heel and then push everything else through. And it should look like that. I'm going to show you how to make this first uh, little uh, slipper moccasin, which is just a one row of single crochet and loops. And then I will come back and I will show you how to make the booty, the moccasin booty, which is three rows each of the single crochet row and our loopy row. All right, so what we want to do is get our yarn on our thread. And our first, that unworked, remember that unworked stitch because we left it open a little bit. I'm just going to go ahead and pull up my yarn and slip stitch one. So we're going to, we want to make uh, eight single crochets on each side. So that's one, and I'm working in my tail, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, and then I'll just pull those tails inside. Our last stitch before the join, eight, and then we have our join, and now we're going to start over with the count to ensure that we have eight stitches on the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Perfect. Okay. Now what we're going to do is slip to join to our very first stitch. Okay, and now we're going to begin our... Right now I want to show you how to make our loops. I'm going to show you uh, regularly and then I'm going to do a frame um, where I do it slower. So after we slip to join, we're going to go into the same stitch. Okay, and you see how this might depend on how you hold your yarn. We're going to take our middle finger and go in front of our yarn, okay, just the tip of your finger, and you're going, to want, you're going to want to have loose tension right here, and then pull up our loop, okay, and then you have two loops on your hook, and then yarn over and pull through two, and then let it go. Again, we're going to go into our stitch. Pull down our, our yarn with our finger, have our loose tension, yarn over, pull up. We have two, actually four, four, but we're counting two as one. Yarn over, go through again. Okay, I will do that a couple more times. Go into your next stitch, 
might even help if you put your um, finger here down first before you go into your next stitch. That way you can just grab your yarn. It's going to be whatever works for you, but the concept is the same. As long as you have it wrapped around your middle finger, all your loops are going to be the same size. So then put your finger down on your yarn, go in your stitch, grab your yarn, pull it up. You have two on your hook, yarn over, go through all. And just keep going all the way around. Again, you can pull your finger, middle finger on your yarn, go into your stitch, pull up your loop, pull it through, you have two and over go through all. So go ahead and finish that all the way around and I will meet you back. So I just finished my 16th loop, loopy row, and now I'm just going to go ahead and slip stitch to the first stitch, my first loop. Okay, now if you're just going for the little slipper Amakasin, then you can go ahead and finish with a single crochet row and then fasten off and you're done. Your booties, your simple, excuse me, simple moccasin loopy booties are done. Now, if you're going for the boot, I'm going to show you what the repeat is. And I did three rounds here and finished my boot moccasin, booty moccasin, well, that sounds weird, um, with a single crochet row. So after you slip to join, it's super easy. You're just going to go ahead and make a single crochet row. Make sure that making sure that you always have 16. So just make a single crochet row, 2 3 all the way around here on top of your stitches in the round below and I will meet you back. So after you've made your 16th single crochet, you want to slip stitch to the first single crochet to join. And then we're just going to repeat the loopy row. Go into that same stitch. We'll first pull, pull down the yarn with your finger, yarn over. You have two loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through all, release the loop. Okay, it's a single crochet, only we're just putting our finger down to make the loop. Okay, it's going to take some practice, but once you get it, it's like super duper easy. And you're going to need loose tension for this to work. If you're, and it, it took some practice for me too, because I tend to uh, crochet tight. So if you can get in your mind, like finger down, insert your hook, pull up your yarn, yarn over, go through two, release. Pressure down, yarn down, pull up our loop, one, two on our hook, yarn over, pull through raw, let go. Down, pull up loop, yarn over, let go. Like if you can get yourself in a little rhythm in your mind like that, I find it so much easier. Might be elementary uh, to some people, but just trying to help out the beginners here. Okay, just like that, and we're just going to repeat the entire row three times and finish with our single crochet. So go ahead and finish that, slip to join, and then do a single crochet row. Remember, we're we're going to need 16 stitches of our loops and 16 single crochets. And after you're done with three rows. We'll finish up with the single crochet row. Good, I just finished up my loopy row, 16th loopy stitch, and I'm going to slip stitch to my first stitch, slip to join, and then I'm just going to finish this booty up, this round up, with a single crochet, 16 single crochets to finish this up, and I will meet you back. After you've made your 16 single crochets, Go ahead and cut your yarn, or slip to join, then cut your yarn. And real quick, I want to show you how to sew in your tails. I went on ahead and threaded my needle, and I'm just going to go into that next stitch to try to complete it. 
and fold this out a little bit or fold it down and just try to go into some stitches that you know are not going to go all the way through to the outside. And I am just going to do this twice. And I'm good with that. Okay, and you fluff out your booty. And there we have both of our moccasin boots, booties, and moccasin footies. <laughs> Maybe they are footies instead of little slippers or socks, whichever you prefer. There you go. Um, I hope you liked the video. I'm sorry if I confused anybody. Don't forget to comment, like, share, subscribe, um, and together let's continue to crochet it forward. Bye now.